Okay, uh, question two. I'm interested that Mark says a number of times that intentionality is towards something in the outside world, that the outside world is where needs can be met. But might we not also have an intention to modify our own actions or our own thoughts if we feel that they're causing us pain? That is, can our intentionality sometimes be towards our own and perhaps inner world? So, um, I'm going to answer that question, but I also want to attach to it some comments about uh, this word intentionality, because I, I, I notice that it's causing some, uh, some uh, uh, confusion or some concern. Like what exactly does this word refer to? Um, it actually, probably part of the confusion arises from the fact that I'm using the word in two different ways, and I'm doing so deliberately. Um, the colloquial meaning of the word intentionality is the same as volition, it's will, it's uh, intentions, you know, what, uh, what is motivating my behavior. Intentionality refers in this uh, colloquial sense to much the same thing as motivation. But the other meaning of the word is the technical philosophical meaning of the word, and this arises from the philosophy of Franz Brentano, Brentano said that the defining feature of the mind is intentionality. And what he was referring to was the fact that you cannot have a mental state unless the mental state is about something. And in philosophy, intentionality um, is, is, is the t technical term for what in slightly bad English could be also called aboutness. Uh, intentionality of the mental refers to the fact that the mental is always about something. It's the aboutness of the mental. That's a kind of strange concept, so let me just unpack that a little bit. What, what Brentano is referring to is that you cannot say, I am thinking, and not be able to say what you're thinking about. A thought, in, in, in necessarily, intrinsically, must have an object, a content. And that's the aboutness of the thought. That's what the thought is intending towards, uh, to, to, to use this, this, more, um, this more technical um, uh, phraseology. Um, you can't say, I'm remembering, without saying what you're remembering. You know, what is the memory about? What is the content of the memory? What is the object of the memory? This is what Brentano was getting at. So, um, what I, why I'm linking these two concepts is for the following actually quite straightforward reason. I'm saying that mental uh, cognitive processes do indeed always have a content. They always, there's always an object of the thought or an object of the memory. And uh, this is for a very good reason. It's because we have to intend towards objects in the external world uh, if we're going to survive and reproduce. So this is the same old point coming up uh, uh, again. It's that it's not just so that mental states are always about something. It's that mental states serve a biological purpose. Mental states are there to, to, to help us to meet our needs, and our needs can only be met in the outside world by things, and so our mental states are always about things, because we are always intending toward things, also in the colloquial sense of the word, in the motivational sense of the word. We are motivated to have mental states about things. And so I'm trying to, to link the technical philosophical concept of aboutness, uh, which was Brentano's concept, with what we now know about how the brain works in terms of its deeper um, motivational uh, upper brainstem and limbic uh, um, um, uh, mechanisms, which are what gets the machinery of the mind going in the first place. And uh, there, as with so much of this course, uh, I'd like to draw your attention to the fact that the implicit in what I've said is these two aspects of the mind. The one is the representational content, which is corticothalamic and relates to the external world, and the other is the e emotional oomph that drives the engine. And that relates to the state of the internal world. And uh, the, the, the affective, the emotional 
driving energic force um, is to be separated from the qualitative content representational cognition um, which has to do with, with, with corticothalamic processes. Intentionality has everything to do with the, 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 the former, the, the, the affects, um, attaching to, intending toward the representations, that this is, how, this is how it all works, this is how, how it has to work. So, intentionality, um, that's, that's the concept. Now the question uh, asked here is, well, do int does intentionality have to always relate to the outside world? Uh, what about the internal world of cognitions and, and, and uh, you know, representations, thoughts and memories and whatnot? I hope it's clear from what I've said that always when we intend toward the outside world, we're intending to our representations of the outside world. The corticothalamic part of the brain represents the outside world, not only in perception, but also in memory and also in cognition. So the, 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 the sorts of um, mental processes that our questioner is asking about, uh, where you're, 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 you're in fact motivated to do something about your memories or your thoughts, um, is in fact not really fundamentally different from intentionality in relation to actual external objects. So I agree with the questioner, yes, indeed, uh, intentionality includes also internalized representations of the external world. Um, they are there, in fact, to guide us, to help us. They're a kind of an emissary from the external world. They're the, the mediator between the actual objects in the external world and the needs and affects coming from within us. Uh, it's through cognition that we, that we um, learn how to best meet our needs in the outside world. These are not, uh, in my way of thinking, um, I would think, in, surely in all of our way of thinking, um, I, I don't see how, in other words, it could be otherwise, than that um, cognitive representations of the outside world um, are there uh, for that purpose. So, I hope I've been able to clarify a little bit about this, the meaning of the term intentionality um, at the same time as I hope I've been able to address that second question. <laughs>